Hello, this is Scott with International Radiant and Mechanical Systems. In today's video, we're going to show you how to find the right part using the model and serial number for your Detroit Radiant Reverberate Tube Series Heater. So example one, uh, you'll want to locate the radiant plate, which is typically on the side or the back of the heater. And on the radiant plate, you'll notice there's a model number and then there's also a serial number. So from there, you'll head over to our website, which is www.irms-co.com. And you'll find a tab that says Shop Parts. And go ahead and click on that. And then you'll come up to our online parts store. And in this example here, we're looking for a tube heater part. So when you click on tube heater part, you'll now notice a list of the various models that have been built over the years. But in order to find the year of the model, we're going to go to the click on the button on the left hand side that says serial number identification codes. And when you click on that, it'll open up a chart. And what you'll do from there is you're going to count the number of digits in your serial number. And you may notice uh, in the 1970s, for example, it was only six digits in the serial number. And then in the 80s, they moved into 10 digits. And in the 90s, they moved into 16 digits or more. So in this particular example, we have a 16-digit number. We're going to follow that over on the column and find out that that heater was built between 1990 and 1997. So from there, we're going to focus on the very first three numbers, the year and the month. So in this example, we see that the heater was built in 1996 in the 10th month, which would be October. So now we go back to our page that lists all of our heater models. And we go and find our model number, which in this case is the DX6200. So now that I know that it's built in 1996, I go down to my line that has the DX series model in that time frame, in the, which happens to be line 27. And now I can click on that and it'll pull up the list of parts that were, were built for this heater in this era. And I can go to the, the proper part that I need and place it in my shopping cart. And then I can complete my purchase. So example number two, again, we're locating the rating plate on the heater. This is for maybe some of the newer model heaters. Um, in this case, we have an HL340-150 and we look at the serial number located next to the model and we do it all over again we go back to our website www.irms-co.com we go to the shop parts tab we go to our online parts store we click on the tube heater parts tab and we're going to go on to our serial number identification code chart and then we're going to now go across our chart because this this particular example has 18 digits. That's why I want to show this different example, because when I follow 18 digits over and I take that down, you'll see that those were heater models that were built from 2009 to present. So in this particular model here, I look at the, the uh, first four digits. So this particular model would have built, been built in 2018 in the third month, so March of 2018. So now I go back to my uh, page that shows all the various models. And again, I reference my model number now, now that I know the model and the year. And in this particular example, um, this is line 23, the HL3 series heater which was built between uh, 2014 and present. And now that I've clicked on the page to, for my particular model, it shows me the list of parts. I can go and find the part that I need and I can place it in my cart and I can complete my transaction. And that concludes today's session. I thank you for your time.